I learned a new uh, term this uh, ski trip. If you want to sound cool, instead of saying, oh, let's ski down this run, you'll say, let's hit it. Or let's hit that run. That way we'll sound cool among teenagers. Because <laughs> who doesn't want to sound cool among teenagers? <laughs> That's my ultimate goal in life. Mine too. <laughs> so what do you say we hit this run? Let's hit it. We are in Snowshoe Ski Resort. It's such a unique place. It's in West Virginia. It's the first resort that we ever go to that most of the lodging is actually on top of the mountain instead of at the bottom. I have to say that Snowshoe has some of the most unique trees that I think we've seen in any of our ski trips. I mean, we've seen lots of trees covered in white snow, of course, but this is just different somehow. It's like there's just a thick layer of white frosting or powdered sugar on the trees. It almost looks like it's out of a fairy tale. This is where we're staying, and we're on top of the mountain. Driving here, and especially in the last like 40 miles when we approached the resort, it was quite treacherous. Yeah. The roads were uh, extremely windy, and it was a little bit slick as well. Especially <laughs> it was challenging after like already being in the car for like eight hours, but uh, it's worth it. It is. Very scenic though. Staying in a hotel that's already on top of the mountain is kind of unique because it gets really windy, especially at night. You just hear like wind noises and when you look at the window, you see like flurries of, of snow flying by more violently than it would if you were like staying on the bottom of the mountain. The big difference that I've noticed between ski resorts in the east, like Snowshoe, versus ski resorts that are more in the west, like in Colorado or Utah or Montana, is the snow quality is quite different. A lot of the top layer of the snow, like right around me, right where we're walking, is actually crunchy and icy. So you want to make sure to not fall um, before you start skiing, because we start skiing tomorrow, so I'm trying to be extra careful. No matter what chairlift you get on here, at the top you can always get on green, blue, black, you know, whatever you want, you can, you can get it from pretty much any chairlift. The layout of this mountain is very straightforward, so you don't have to worry about getting lost. Even if you're a beginner, every single lift will bring you to at least one green run. We are on one of the chairlifts, I don't remember which one. We'll find out when we get to the top. Another thing that's unique about Snowshoe Resort is that all of the runs kind of lead down to this uh, lake at the bottom. And currently the lake is frozen, so it looks white. I think that's kind of nice, especially when you're trying to ski and then at the very end you see the lake. At least you know where the bottom is. We're looking for a suitable restaurant. But COVID makes things complicated. Would you want to um, go into that cheap mountain pizza? Because we know that stuff like pizzas are easy to take out. Do you like my new hairstyle? It's fabulous. It smells good. Take out is the way to go now. I do miss the days where we used to sit in restaurants. Perfect. I like the bling bling. Oh. Thank you, sir. I can't show it all though. I gotta keep some hidden. Nice. Oh, nice. 
So we, we, we've noticed that the lifties have a, a very good sense of humor because they all have different costumes on. We've seen a giraffe, we've seen a penguin just now. We also saw a guy completely like blinged out with probably the type of like fake plastic bling you get from a coin machine, but hey. The runs here are, are relatively short, but we're still enjoying it a lot. They're long enough to have good fun on them. Yesterday we got about four to five inches of snow, so that means that the natural snow total this season at Snowshoe exceeded 100 inches. It's like 101 inches or so, give or take. Deer. This is the waffle from Waffle Cabin here in Snowshoe. It's a little uh, hut behind us that just sells waffles and drinks. It is very good. These are like funny names for runs. Upper Hootenanny, Ball Hooter, Ball Hooter. What's a Hootenanny? Couple other activities that you can do here at Snowshoe other than skiing and snowboarding are snowmobiling and tubing and tonight we're actually going to go tubing for the first time. This is my first time tubing. Feels funny. Opa, opa. Backwards and Lauren is right behind me. <laughs> Jump. Five out of ten. Five. Two. <laughs> <laughs>